Okay. Um, I hope everyone's doing well this morning. Um, as we go, just make sure that you listen to your body, of course. Um, we will be taking eagle arms today. And so I always like to take a little pause before um, going into an eagle arm class to give you options. So um, for eagle arms, you have the option of full eagle, which is gonna be this full double wrap situation. Okay, palms come together for full eagle. In your full eagle, you want to make sure that there's space between your shoulders and your ears. We're not trying to jam our shoulders into our torso, but they're settled into the torso. And then your elbows are going to scooch slightly forward and your fingertips up. And that action of your arms going forward and up as your shoulders stay um, settled, that's what creates the stretch. If this doesn't work for your body at any point, you don't want to take this anymore. Um, if you want to choose something else just because you want something else, those are all reasons to take different variations. Backs of the hands together is going to be similar but less. Forearms together is also a really good option so you continue to strengthen through the shoulder to get the openness across the back body and the shoulder blades, but maybe you don't have the full mobility through your wrists to create this double, double wrap, so forearms together is an option. You can also take goddess arms airplane arms or any arms you want. Um, eagle arms is simply a suggestion and a different way to experience our upper body within some similar shapes for today. Yeah. Um, that being said, we only have 60 minutes and it will go by fast. So go ahead and find your way to Shavasana when you're ready. Um, you can either lie with your legs long if that feels most comfortable. Um, if it would feel best to have your knees bent or your hips open, go ahead and take whatever shape feels good for you. Yeah. And then these first couple of moments as you start to settle in. Just feel that sense of transition. Uh, shift as you arrive into this space and this moment. Body, heart, mind, all in one location. And anchored by the movement of your breath. Connected to the present moment through the rise of your inhale. And the fall of your exhale. And as your breath begins to deepen, each breath in gets wider. Each breath out gets longer. Allow your mind to clear a little bit. Give yourself permission to set aside any thoughts, any distractions, any extra clutter from your mind space that you don't need for these 60 minutes and give yourself these 60 minutes as a gift, right? To be in your body, to explore, okay? to come into deeper understanding, to find a greater sense of balance as you head into your day. And ultimately, just to give yourself some time, some time for you. Go ahead and continue to deepen your breath just for another moment here. Seeing how fully you can inhale, how much space within your lungs you can take up, and how completely you can exhale, if you can empty all the way to the bottom. And then we'll take a clearing breath together to get started. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose. What feels good and open up, exhale to release. Okay, let your lips seal and when you're ready, go ahead and send your hands up and overhead, your full body stretch. Maybe start to circle through your ankles and your wrists. Maybe start to spread your fingers and your toes really wide. 
And then eventually bring both knees into your chest. And take a little rock from left to right to massage your low back on the earth. And take a deeper breath into the back of your torso. With exhale, transition both hands to your right shin and extend your left leg forward and down to rest on the earth. As your left leg drops heavy, and you bring your right knee closer, take a deeper breath towards your belly. Then exhale to your supine twist. Allow your right knee to fall across you. Let your right shoulder get heavy towards the ground. And then take two cycles of breath into your right side body. And after your second breath, you're going to keep your right knee bent and place your right foot to the earth like a bridge leg to square your hips just so your spine is long and neutral. And then lift your left leg to the sky for a moment for a hamstring stretch. And you can reach behind your hamstring. Maybe you can reach up to your calf if you have access to your foot. Feel free to stretch all the way up to your foot. But just give yourself a breath in here. Then an even slower breath out. Press your left heel up to the sky for a moment. Feel a stretch reach down with your calf. And then we're gonna stack our left leg on top of our right for eagle leg. So imagine like you're sitting cross-legged at a desk. You don't need the double wrap for this, just a single wrap. Start to lift your right foot off of the earth. Bring your shins about parallel to the ground. And then zip your shins together and flex your feet. And low back's connected to the ground. Make sure left and right side bodies are both long. And then interlace your hands behind your head, elbows wide. And pull your front ribs in. And on an in breath, tap your right heel down to the ground. On your exhale, pull your knees towards your chest. And then twist your right elbow to your left thigh. And same thing, slowly tap your right heel down, bring your upper body through center so your head and shoulders can be up or on the earth in between. Exhale, knees in, contract, and twist right elbow to left foot at the top. The same thing, flex your feet, squeeze your inner thighs, tap and open. And exhale, lift, contract, twist. Last two, inhale through your midline. From your strong core, exhale, contract and twist right elbow to left thigh. One more time, same thing, same side, tap and open with your inhale. Use your core to lift, twist, pause the top for three. A little bit of hang time for two. And on one, when you're moving pose, second side, as your head and shoulders drop back, send your right leg long, bring your left knee to your left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath here. And then exhale to twist, left knee tips all over your body. And then breathe into your left side body. Let this moment be a balance, the effort, with a little bit of ease between. You notice that your mind has drifted away from this moment. Let your breath bring it back. When you migrate through center, you'll keep your left knee bent. Bridge your left foot to the earth. Square your hips on your yoga mat so your spine is long. A little bit of core engagement sweeps your right leg to the sky. And then reach behind your right leg for your hamstring stretch. And the stretch of the crown of your head to the baseboard behind you so there's a little bit of length through the nape of your neck. Maybe you feel the muscles along your spine receive a slight stretch too. Start to flex your right heel high for the energy reach down through your leg as you open through your calf. And then we'll eagle stack our right thigh on top of our left. 
uh, low back anchor to the earth. Start to lift your shins and zip your shins together and flex your feet. Hug your legs actively to the midline so you feel your core already begin to light up. And then take your hands behind your head again, elbows really wide. With your in breath, you're gonna lower your left heel, just maybe, maybe like slightly forward and tap down. Yeah, low back stays connected. Exhale, knees in, heart high. Twist your left elbow to your right thigh. Right, inhale, lower, open. Exhale, contract and twist. Left elbow to right thigh. Here we go, a couple more. Inhale, opens you up. Try to isolate your core as you contract and twist. Right, last two, find your challenge, your edge, breath in. Exhale, contract and twist. One more time, inhale, lower, open. Exhale, contract and twist and pause for three. Squeeze your thighs together for two. Shoulders high for one. Unwind knees to chest, release and relax. And take a deeper breath through your nose. Maybe an open mouth exit to let that go. And we'll meet in the tabletop pose next. So go ahead and find your way up to all fours. And then just take a moment to check in with your wrists, right? If you open your fingers wide and bring your wrist creases parallel to the top edge of your yoga mat. You might just lean a little bit forward and back, maybe some gentle circles. You notice where the weight of your body is within your hands, right? If it's in the heels of your hands, you'll lean the weight a little bit more forward to where the fingers and palms connect. If you feel it in the outside edges of your hands, try to concentrate more of the energy to the thumb and pointer finger at you. And from there, inhale to your cow shape, start to lift your heart, lift your tail. With your exhale, curl to your cat spine, slowly round the back of your heart high, spread your shoulder blades wide. This is prep for your eagle arms. And inhale, cow heart and tailbone lift. Exhale, cat curl through your spine. One more time, inhale, cat. And exhale, cat. And then come through a neutral spine. Tuck your toes and find your downward facing dog as you send your hips up and back. You can adjust your stance. You take some attention back to your hands again. Relax the weight of your skull, maybe pedal your feet, the core strength from your center, lift the weight up and back out of your wrists. And start to pedal your feet until you walk it forward to the top of your mat, Uttanasana, forward fold. And head heavy, tailbone tall. Especially since it's early, give your hamstrings an extra breath here. Your next breath in, we'll move into our halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. They lean forward, lengthen out, core strong. And exhale forward, full release. And as you breathe in, rise all the way up, Urdha Hastasana with your inhale. And with your exhale, go ahead and eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left. So like circle streak your right arm underneath your left. With a breath in, a little softness in your knees. Lift your elbows to the sky, maybe a baby back bend, just barely. On your exhale, bring your torso to neutral, but then tip your fingertips gently forward and away, elbows pull towards your heart. That might not be a very big motion, that's okay. As you breathe in, lift your equal arms back to the sky. With your exhale, slowly unwind into your goddess arms with a stretch as you open your elbows wide. Then swan dive forward, hinge from your hips, dive your heart towards your thighs. Take a half lift with your breath in. Get a high plank pose, plant your hands and step your feet back, breath out. Get strong at your center, strong at your quads, and in breath will guide you forward. Knees up or down, super slow motion, lower to the earth. Take your elbows straight back. Feel your triceps strong and lower all the way to your belly. And untuck your toes when you are right. Find your low cobra press. Your toe will lift the back of your heart. 
As you exhale, maybe hover your hands, you're gonna lengthen through the nape of your neck and press the back of your skull up high. Take one more breath in here, strong quads and core. And then exhale to release. With your elbows in tight by your side bodies, use your triceps to push to a tabletop pose. So all fours. And if you need to adjust your stance, start to stack up your joints. Lift your left leg up and back. And send your right hand forwards, you're in a spinal balance. And hug the midline of you have a yoga block between your inner thighs. Hug your right palm gently to the midline and take a breath in. With the exhale, bring elbow and knee together, push the earth away, round your spine like a cat. And then inhale, slowly stretch out, adding your own resistance in both directions. With the exhale, curl, contract. Inhale, lengthen and reach. One more time, slow and strong and resist your own strength as you pull in. Then resist yourself as you stretch out. Head into downward facing dog, bend your right hand and your left toes, and then step back into your downward dog. And spread your fingers wide, inhale, lift your heels. Your exhale, bend your knees, step right, take a big hop to the top, forward fold. And at the top, find a half lift, lengthen your spine. Yeah, exhale, forward fold, release. Rise to stand with your inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. And circle, sweep your left arm underneath your right as you exhale. And breath in, lift your elbows, lift your chest a little bit. Exhale back to neutral spine as your elbows come to your sternum. Tip your fingertips gently forward. Yeah, it doesn't have to be much. Breath in, tips you tall again. Exhale, goddess arms, slow unwind. Into your swan dive forward. Half bay lift, extend. And high plank pose, anchor through your hands and take a big step back. And your in breath shifts you forward. Exhale all the way to the earth, slow and strong. Untuck your toes. With an inhale, low cobra, lift the back of your heart. And exhale to lower down. Inhale, low or medium cobra. If you lift up halfway, keep your shoulders out of your ears, elbows hugged in, triceps are strong. And exhale to lower down. I inhale, low, medium, or high cobra. If you want to go to your high cobra, just make sure that your low back feels healthy and clear. Collarbones open, a space between shoulders and ears. And then lower back down. I elbows close, tabletop pose. Push to all fours. Stack up your joints. And then with an in breath, start to lift your right leg up. And send your left hand forward. Hug to the center line, try to pull your front ribs in a little bit. Use your core to challenge your right glute, deeper breath in. Elbow and knee come together, breath out. And inhale, stretch long and resist yourself. Keep your front ribs in it, navel the spine. Exit a curl. One more time, inhale, stretch. And exhale, squeeze in. Reach long for a breath in. We'll meet in downward facing dog as you breathe out. And with an inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, forward fold, step or foot. Take a half lift with your inhalation. And exhale to release. Rise to stand a deeper breath. Forward fold right away this time. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, vinyasa or down dog. So you get to choose your transition this time. Okay, full or modified chaturanga. Always the option to skip it all together. If something else serves your body better. A different transition. Feel free to take that instead. Good. As you reach your downward facing dog, go ahead and take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Looks awesome, everyone. Maybe an open mouth. Exhale, let it go. 
With an inhale, your right leg will find the sky, three-legged dog. Yeah, so good. On your exhale, take your right knee to your left tricep. So cross underneath your body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Take your time and use your core. Exhale, right into your right tricep. Three-legged dog, big breath in. Now step your right foot forward on your exhale. Make sure your feet are hips distance apart. Keep your left toes tucked and then drop your left knee to the earth. So left toes stay tucked. Scissor action through your legs. So right heel pulls back, left knee pulls forward, lift your heart and hands. And for this first one on your exhale, pull your navel into the back of your body. Then keep that containment, but lift taller through your heart with an inhale. And we imagine that the yoga block between your arms, between your hands. With exhale, we're going to airplane our upper body forward. Lift your back knee off of the earth. Hinge. Push down through your right foot to lift your heart away from your right back. Now use your hands to hug into the midline and notice where your pelvis is in space. But with your airplane arms, take a big breath in. And on your exhale, eagle wrap your left arm underneath your right. Feel your fingertips as an extension of your heart space. And then push through your right foot and lift your eagle arms to the sky. Maybe a baby back bend at the top of deep breath in. And on your exhalation, we're going to unwind to a warrior two. So let your arms and one left heel spins down. Just give yourself a moment to settle. Inhale, reverses you, right hand to the sky. And exhale, side angle. Think about these as like a side body stretch. We'll meet back in warrior two. Spread your wings wide. Star pose, turn all ten toes to the long edge, reach tall. And from here, goddess squat, bring your heels in, sink low. Now there's a tendency for us to stick the booty out and to flare the front ribs open. So try to lengthen the spine a little bit, hug your front ribs in, lean your shoulders back. That action of front ribs in and shoulders back that also applies to our eagle pose. And take an inhale here. On your exhale, it's going to be warrior to the back of your yoga mat. So spin your right heel behind you, turn your left toes forward. Get a little bit funky, and right? trust in yourself, hug to the midline, crescent lunge to the back of your mat. So you're going to unwind to face your left thigh, unhook your right heel. This might be more of a narrow stance than you're used to. Let it be okay. Let it be a balanced challenge. Hinge over, airplane your arms. Lean your weight to your left foot. Right toes might drag. Airplane pose a fly. I'm going to take a breath in. And a breath out. A little softness in your left knee. Bring your right knee slowly with you to stand. Flex your right toes to the sky. Let it be okay if it's wobbly. It's early and you're on one leg. <laughs> Inhale here. And exhale here. And big step back to your crescent lunge. Just place your right toes behind you. Take an inhale to lift your chest, lengthen your spine. Out breath brings your hands down to the earth. And your high plank pulls, left foot meets your right. Make the choice, vinyasa or down dog. When we meet back in our downward facing dog, let's take an in breath together through the nose. And exhale, let it go. Inhale your left leg up high for the stretch through your hamstrings. Exhale, left knee, right tricep cross underneath your body. And from your core, three legged dog, notice where you're moving from. Left knee, left tricep, take your time. A long and strong three legged dog, breath in. Place your left foot forward with your exhale out. Get a right toe, stay tucked. Drop your right knee to the earth. And that strong scissor action of your legs, so your inner thighs are strong, lift your heart in your hands. It, rather than sneaking down, we stay tall. Navel pulls back. Deepen the stretch in your front right hip. Lean up through your heart space. To lengthen your ribcage away from your pelvis, feel the decompression. 
Next breath out, roll airplane our arms, lift your back knee off of the earth. So keep in mind, if this deep hinge okay, is not right for you, rather than going lower, this will put straight on the low back, maybe come a little bit higher, yeah? And use your hands to hug your left sitting bone back and in. Hug your right hip forward, just square. Imaginary block between your thighs. You'll eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left. So your fingertips in as an extension of your heart space and lift your heart to the sky. Big breath in. And exhale, warrior two with control. Spin your right heel down, open your wings. Okay, settle in. If you need to adjust your left foot, you can always wander your left foot around. Breath in will reverse as left hand sweeps high. Feel all that space and then exhale side angle. Keep that space and add some to your right side body. Spin your heart open. Warrior two, stack up tall for your spine. Star pose, turn your toes and reach big. Goddess squat, heels in sink low. Think about your inner thighs, your boots to encourage your knees wide. Again, can you find a really good posture here? A challenge your center to have to light up to hold you from falling back. Okay, elbows reach out from the torso. Okay, warrior to the front of your mat, your right knee is going to be bent, so your left leg long and open your right toes forward. Again, tricky transition. It's okay if it's a little unfamiliar and funky. High crescent lunge to face forward. And okay, unhook the back heel, hug your inner thighs. Take a big breath in. And airplane arms, breath out. Lean forward and up with your heart. You transfer your weight to right foot, will fly airplane pose, push down and lift off. After a moment of balance here, on your right ankle stabilizers to do their job at soften your right knee. And use your core to pull your left knee slowly with you to stand. And the extension of your hands high, and then just pause here. One more breath. The crescent lunge, step your left toes back. Lift your heart up high. Vinyasa or down dog, so step back or flow back. It's up to you. You can always skip the transition altogether. You can definitely always add in if you feel called to. And give yourself a deeper breath and a slower breath out. Okay, here we go. And inhale, suits your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. On exhale, right knee to left tricep, cross underneath your heart. Three-legged dog, isolate your core to lift your right leg back up. Right knee to your right, tricep strong, shift forward, active hand. Three-legged dog, breath in. Right foot forward in between your thumbs, breath out. Just like before, keep your left toes tucked and drop your left knee down. Lift your heart and hand, just one deep breath in. On your exhale, airplane your arms, lift your back knee off of the earth. Eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left and pause. You can do the same thing you did before. Or dip your left knee to a hover and push through your right foot, lift your heart up. And stay with your exhale here, this left knee hover to strong lunge. So we push into crescent lunge leg, lift your left knee away from the earth. Maybe lift your heart to the sky, a little back bend. Warrior two, unwind your arms, peel open. Please reverse with an inhale, right hand reaches. Find your side angle as you exhale, maybe it's like a little bit of a more flowy movement this time. Through warrior two, into your star pulse. Goddess squat, heels and sink low. And in one time, just inhale to lengthen, lift. And exhale, sink right back into your squat. Warrior to the back of your mat, spin your right heel behind you and open up. And high crest into the back. Pivot, unhook your back heel. Find the balance challenge. An airplane pose, and lean forward. Launch into your fight. Take an inhale. 
and exhale a little softness in your left knee as you bring your right knee with you to rise. Flex your right foot. You can let your hands stay high, or maybe bring your hands to your heart. We'll set up for our eagle pose here. So begin to bend through your left knee. Stack your right thigh on top of your left. Zip your shins together. If you need to place your right toes to the earth, you can, like a little kickstand. Good, but think about sinking into your left thigh like a chair pose. Lean your torso back, pull your navel in. As you zip your lower body to center, for full eagle, take your right arm underneath your left. Okay, shoulders settle in. Reach your elbows forward, lift your fingertips tall. Take a good inhale here. Maybe keep your eagle arms with exhale, so to send your right leg back like airplane legs. The extension from your fingers to your feet. And weight control, it's crescent lunge, right toes land. Unwind your arms, reach your heart and hands up high. And exhale, vinyasa or down dog, step back to flow. Or again, you can just step back and lift your hips. And we're going to take second set and we'll take a little belly down um, pause before we go to the back body. So use your inhalation and send your left leg to the sky. Nice. On your exhale, left knee to your right tricep underneath your body. Three-legged dog, use your core to draw up and back. And send you to your left tricep, shift forward to tap. Three-legged dog, breath in. Left foot will land between your thumbs as you breathe out. Good, guys. Let your right toes stay tuck. Drop your right knee to the earth. One inhale, lifts your heart and hands up high. Use your exhale, lean forward and lift your back knee off of the ground. Good, hips square. Sweep your right arm underneath your left, eagle your arms. You can do the same thing we did before, or dip your right into a hover, push through your left heel and step up. So you're in this hovering eagle arm lunge. Whatever lunge you're in, take a breath. If you're a low, begin to lengthen your right leg, grow tall. Everyone, maybe take a baby back, then lift your elbows up, lift your sternum, feel the stretch across your abdomen. Warrior two, you're gonna spin open. And reverse your warrior left hand high. Exhale to your side angle variation. We'll meet in our warrior two, stand tall. Okay, through your star pulse. Into your goddess squat, heels in sync low. One time root and reach up with your inhale, feel your inner thighs hug to the midline. Sink back low on your exhale. Warrior to the front of your mat, spin your left heel behind you and open your right toes forward. Hug to the midline, crescent lunge to face forward and hook your back heel. To get a deep breath in. Airplane pose, breath out. And when you're ready to rise up slowly, inch by inch, gather your left knee into your body and stand tall. And perhaps you bring your hands to your heart to start. Maybe you took over. <laughs> hey, you're gonna stack your left thigh on top of your right, which requires your right knee to bend. You bend into your right knee, the quadricep can engage a little bit more as well. So your left thigh stacks, either zip your legs together or kickstand your left toes to the earth. Hug to the midline. Notice if your left hip is low and your right hip is flaring out, maybe your knees are trying to sneak over to the right. The knees forward, left hip lifts, right hip lengthens down. For full eagle, sweep your right arm underneath your left. And then lift up your fingertips, the integration of your shoulders. Hug to the midline. We keep your eagle arms, you fly your left leg back. Eagle arm airplane pulse. Really send your fingertips forward to reach length through your spine. Give yourself a deep breath in. To crescent lunge, exhale your left toes down and inhale to unwind your hands up high. A little bit different this time on your exhale, hands to the earth. 
sit back to a high plank pose. On your in breath, you're gonna shift forward. Knees up or down, slowly lower to the earth and your elbows straight back. Okay, untuck your toes when you arrive. And then take your fingertips out in line and with your shoulders. So you're tented on your fingertips, elbows are high, gecko pose. With your breath and anchor for your toenails, lift to your heart space. Think about slightly dragging your heart forward and through your arms. With exhale, dip your right shoulder in and look to the left. And as you breathe in, lift through center. And as you breathe out, second side, dip your left shoulder and look to the right. And inhale, lift through through your center. On your exhale, lengthen and lower right through the midline. And hands will go beside you like airplane arms. Just turn a cheek to the side, take a breath to your belly, down to the earth. And a full breath out. And one more inhale here. Start to bring your legs towards one another. They don't have to be touching, but think keeps distance apart or closer. On your exhale, you're gonna to start to press down through your hip bones. Lift your upper half, airplane your arms beside you. Option to lift your legs as well. And you wanna activate the back body after finding all that contraction along the front line. And the option to stay here, option to reach your hands forward out in front of you as you breathe in. Maybe pull goddess arms, breath out. A two more here, inhale, maybe reach forward. It's kind of hard to see, I'm reaching underneath my bed. Exhale, pull to your goddess arms. One more time, inhale, lengthen, stretch. Make sure your low back feels clear. Exhale, goddess, your arms. Or bring your hands by your low ribs as you release down. With your elbows in close, take a moment to be heavy. Then use the strength of your triceps and your core to shift your hips back to your heels. Then take an inhale and an exhale. From here, Go ahead and shift into downward facing dog. Bring your hips to the sky. Take a moment to maybe paddle through your feet. And inhale, we'll lift our heels up. With exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top, forward fold. You dive across your thighs, take one half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale towards your chair pose, sink through your seat, press through your heels, lift through your heart and your hands. And take a deep breath in. Again, creating balance. We're still working on the counterbalance. On your exhale, goddess, your arms will be lift to your tippy toes. Pull your front arms together. On your inhale, release your heels, gently reach your hands. And two more exhale, contract through the back body, open your heart, heels might rise. So how this is opposite of our eagle. One more time, land your heel, lengthen through your arms. Strong core to protect your low back, goddess arms are your tippy toes. When you land your heels, rise up, Urdhva Hastasana, heels down, lift and lengthen with your breath in. And hands to your heart, close your eyes as you breathe out. Just allow everything to settle. Feel all four corners of your feet as you take an inhale through your nose. And open up, exhale, let it go. And then breath in, reach your hands to the sky. And on your exhale, go ahead and lean your weight to your right foot and bring your left knee up to your chest. And rather than taking our eagle legs, we're gonna do our tree pose. The left foot comes to the inside of your right foot. So you can kickstand it. You can bring your left foot to the inside of your right calf, or you can bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Now, uh, just make sure you avoid your knee joint. Hands might come to heart center. Maybe you want to keep your hands elevated. A little bit more work for the shoulders. Think about drawing into the midline. An 
and up away from the earth. And take one more breath here. So to bring your left knee forward and back to Ekapajadasana, figure for your left ankle on your right thigh, sink into your seat. And this little balance series at the end, again, counterbalancing what we move through. Bear left boot open. Find extension as you breathe, bring length from crown to tail. And take one more breath in, and one more breath out. And then slow motion, start to step into your mountain pose. So you're going to land your left foot down, and inhale, lift your heart and hands up high. On your exhale, grab onto your right wrist with your left hand. Look micro bend your knees, lean to your left side body stretch. Think about your pelvis as staying neutral and then feel yourself lift up and over to your left out of your pelvis. And inhale to the earth center. Switch your grip and lean to your right. And when you're ready, inhale, grow up through the center. On your exhale, lean your weight to your left foot and start to flex your right toes towards you. Balance your weight in your left foot. They are integrated and ready. Tree pose, or Rikshasana, any variation. So right foot to the inside of your left leg. And again, as you take your tree pose, I just want to avoid the knee joint. But at the same time, can you find a midline hug? Just with your inner thighs, like you have a yoga block at center, and then lift up from there. Notice if your hips are trying to open to the right to seem like your right knee can go a little further. Let your hips be square and just use your right glute to just gently encourage your knee wide. Nothing crazy, nothing too active through the seat. And for a challenge, you can always change your upper body. Let me take one more breath here. Finding the sense of grounding that this would be more familiar yoga pose offers. Okay, our practice doesn't need to be fancy in order to be effective. Okay. Sometimes simple is strong. Bring your right knee forward, take a breath in. You can keep your hands at your heart or reach to the sky. Figure four, flex and sit. And if that feels extra sticky, that's okay, you don't have to go as deep. This is countering everything else we moved through, right? A little external rotation to balance out the internal rotation of our eagle legs. Activate your right ankle to support your knee. Okay. Give yourself another three cycles of breath. Notice where your mind is, where your focus is. Can you bring it right back to this moment, to this pause? It might feel very long, but let your breath be there with you. And slow and strong, we're gonna stand into our mountain pose. Place your right foot down, reach your hands up high with an inhale. And exhale, goddess, your arms open your chest and you lift your chin and open your throat. When you're ready, soft knees, swan dive forward, let your head drop heavy to the earth. A deep breath in, halfway lift, lengthen out. Bend your knees and have a seat all the way to the earth. Okay. okay before we lower down to the back body, we're gonna take a little bit of a seated stretch and then a core engagement to release us. Um, go ahead and find your way into a cross-legged seat. So we'll start with our right shin in front of the left. Let's see if I can adjust this a little bit without tipping it over. So right shin in front of the left. If you prefer something a little bit deeper, you can take double pigeon and stack your right shin on top of your left. So that would look like so. Right, flex your feet. 
Make sure both sit bones are equally grounded. You might need to untuck the flesh from your booty. And then for a lot of us, we don't spend a ton of time just in really good posture, right? A tall spine. So you might use your pelvic floor and your core muscles. And your pelvic floor is part of your core, but especially your pelvic floor in the shape to sit tall, yeah? Or if you'd like to, you can also reach up high with an inhale and then hinge forward, a different sensation. Keep in mind, if you're in a double pigeon, it's gonna be stickier to lean forward than if you're in a cross-legged seat. So be compassionate with yourself in that. Right, wherever you are, take two more breaths. <laughs> I love how it, like, it starts to get lighter in these morning practices. Like in the beginning, we're all like in the dark in our apartments and then the light begins to naturally come in. <laughs> right, when you are complete here, first of all, you can always stay as long as you'd like in any of these shapes, but when you start to feel complete, start to rise up slow. Unwind your legs gently. <laughs> Maybe take a couple windshield wipers from side to side. And then we'll find our second side. So you'll take your left shin either in front of your right for your cross-legged seat, or again, you can take your double pigeon. Um, from there, right, grounded sits bones, either just tall posture, working your pelvic floor, your core, or your reach up and hinge forward. Keep in mind, if you feel the stretch in your knees, right, we're trying to work the stretch into the hips. So the knees, if that tension is there, it's going to be a sign from your body to take a different variation, to flex your ankles, to engage the muscles around the joints so that the stretch can reach beyond the joints and actually concentrate into the tissues. Yeah. Because stretching the stuff in our knees is not really the goal. <laughs> and then it'll maybe cause problems of its own. And take your couple of slow and steady breaths wherever you're at. And if your shoulders can relax or your jaw can soften. And let's take this last breath together, a really deep inhale in. An option for an open mouth, exhale out. And if you want to stay longer, feel free. Otherwise, slowly rise up. Unwind your legs. Nice and gentle. Option for a couple windshield wipers from side to side. And then we'll use our heel anchors to lower the back body. So if you're using your core, you're going to send your legs out a little bit long. So not necessarily a 90 degree bend, a little bit longer and flex your feet. So you pull your toes back towards you. Sit up really tall and allow your core to have to work just to find the height of your heart, that good, nice, tall spine. And as you push down through your heels at the same time, feel this in your core. And just by lifting up your heart, sitting tall and actively, firmly pressing your heels down, you should feel quite a bit of engagement at your center. Some of that requires you to flex and turn on. And as you hug your heels towards your seat, reach your hands up high with a breath in. Then exhale, use that con core connection to slowly descend you all the way down. So think anchor through your heels, pull your navel in, knit your front ribs together, try to keep this all condensed as possible. If you need to take two breaths to lower down, you can take an extra breath in and then finish out your descent, heels anchored as you lower down, breath out. We'll meet in a full body stretch when you're ready. A deep inhalation to help you lengthen long. Awesome, with your exhale, bring your knees to your chest. Really draw your thighs in extra close, hug in tight, and give your back body some extra space. One more inhale. Now, we're just gonna take a simple twist to close out before our last couple shapes. If you wanna just drop your knees to the left, beautiful. If there's something else, a different type of twist you wanted to take, like an eagle leg twist or the supine twist we took at the beginning, you could take that as well. But your favorite twist, knees to your left. Mm 
And with your knees to the left, you might turn your gaze to the right just to complete that rotation, the full length of your spine. And take two more breaths. Right, when you're ready, just slowly migrate your knees through center and over to your second side. So you're to a second side. And let yourself just be here. Let your shape be gentle. But again, our yoga practice is about creating greater balance. Right? It's one of the many things that it's about. But balance requires us to honor both the ease and the effort. Okay, to recognize the importance of both. That in order to grow and expand, to get stronger, right, to work harder, we have to take those moments of stepping back, of pause, of restoration, so we can restore and fill our cups and then move forward from there. So give value to this time of being gentle, being easy in your body. And you make your way back through the midline. Again, all this at your own pace. You'll bring your knees into your chest and you can either take a happy baby pose, which might feel really nice and grounding, especially after some of the funky things we did today. And if you wanted to send your legs up to a shoulder stand or a plow, that's also an option. But from either your happy baby or your inversion, over our next five cycles of breath, we'll make our way into Shavasana, final relaxation. Okay, so your five breaths are yours. And to use however you need. And to add in any final shapes or movements, would help you to feel more complete in your practice, more connected to your body, your breath. And the shape that you choose to rest in is also up to you. Could be legs long, and that could be knees bent or hips open. Maybe let your eyes drop closed so that you can turn your gaze inward to the internal landscape. And you feel into that lingering vibration of your practice. You can take some of that with you into your day. But in order to preserve all this learning, all in your body, all the integration um, that is possible from your practice, okay. see if you can allow yourself to be right here right now for the next couple of minutes. Okay. Your Shavasana is like your sleep at the end of the night, where you're learning from the day integrates into that longer term memory. It solidifies, it becomes a little bit more concrete. And your Shavasana is an opportunity for the learning in your body, your heart and your mind to soak in, to sink in and take place. Just give yourself these last two minutes to be.
Allow your breath to deepen. And if you have the luxury of a little bit of time and space, I encourage you just to stay as you are. Give yourself a little bit more room for integration. If you are ready to deepen your breath, begin to slowly and gently reawaken your body. Just let it feel natural and organic. You may take a full body stretch on an inhale. On your exhale, you could bring your hands to your heart right away. If you'd like to rise to a comfortable seat, go ahead and find a tall spine. And choosing where you'd like to close your class this morning. And with your eyes closed and your hands at your heart. We take this final and very important moment to pause. You really go in and recognize the time, the energy, the intention that you put into your practice this morning. The fact that you woke up early and took 16 minutes for yourself to be embodied and to connect to your life force, your source energy, your breath. Um, it's a really huge deal. That's a really huge gift to offer yourself. And we also pause and recognize the energy of this online, this virtual community that we've created to help us feel more connected in a time when we are forced to be physically apart. And we also pause to recognize the ancient roots of this practice, how it continues to serve us to this day. And let's take one more deep breath through the nose all together. Open up, exhale, release. May yoga offer us a path to compassion. May our practices serve as our teachers to lead us in living more authentically and loving more deeply each and every day. I thank you so, so much. And namaste. Thanks everyone. Have a super lovely rest of your week. Uh, this Tuesday morning Zoom has become um, really special to me. Uh, like I said, like last week, things will change in the next couple weeks, but we will still have a platform of connection and of yoga. So that will that won't change. Um, so don't worry too much. It's just um, the logistics behind it might be a little bit different. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what works best in a time when everything is different and new. Uh, if you have questions about anything, let me know. Um, for Mexico in December, I just want to let you know there's only like three spots left. So if that's even been percolating in your brain, um, they will probably be gone um, relatively soon. Because usually it's like one person brings a roommate and then there's a whole two spots gone. Oh, there's my alarm to wake up again. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything else you need or have questions about, let me know, though. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, Kais, your dog is adorable. Like, and we're awake. We're awake. We are. Bye, Sarah. So good to see you. Who else is here? Kayla. Allison, it was so awesome to have you from Portland. Look at your little sleep eye mask. I love it. <laughs> have a really good day, everyone. Bye, Lane. Yeah. <laughs>